welcome back to my channel. Say hi, Brindley. Brin. Oh, you looking at Callie? Say hi. No. Okay. This She's is looking at our kitty. No, fat kitty. <laughs> Come here, Mooser. <laughs> this is my boyfriend, David. Isn't he cute? And today we're going to tell you um, how we told our parents that we were pregnant and their reactions. So, um, how far along was I whenever we kind of found out? Do you remember? I think we were like six weeks. Six weeks. Uh, yeah, so I took a pregnancy test, yada, yada, yada. That's a different story. Um, I was about seven maybe eight weeks whenever we told his parents and I was having really bad morning sickness and I was home alone at the house with his mom and his sister and we lived in his house and um we lived in his bedroom so it was super stressful we already knew that we had to like tell them and we were already super stressed out we didn't know how we were gonna do it we kind of were just like waiting for the perfect opportunity and so he was golfing with his <laughs> say hi Callie She's pregnant. This is our pretty kitty. <laughs> Brinley loves her. Oh, Is that your kitty? Is that your kitty? Oh, She loves her what kitten. What the heck? She's shedding so bad. Ew. Ew. Callie. Get your pregnant butt out of here. Anyways, um, yeah, I was home alone at the house with his mom, and I was just laying in bed because I was super, super sick, and David was out golfing with his dad, and so I was laying in bed, and I felt super, super nauseous, and then all of a sudden, I threw up all over the floor, and I didn't even feel like I had, like, strength to get up and clean it up, and I knew I needed, like, help, and so at first, I was like... Anna, Anna, someone. And so Anna was like, mom's in the bathroom. And the bathroom was right next to the bedroom, but she couldn't hear me because the TV probably or the washer or dryer. And so Anna was like, yeah, mom's like in the bathroom. Are you okay? And she, I was like, can you get her? And so she like knocked on the door. She was like, Zoe wants you. And she's like, I'll be right there. And so I was like, okay. And at this point I'm crying because I knew that I had to tell his mom and I was terrified that she was going to be mad at me. And so I was like, um, mom, like, I need you. <laughs> and she was like, what's wrong? And she came in, she saw the throw up. She's like, are you okay? I was crying. I was like, I'm pregnant. And she was like, oh, like, I kind of had a feeling that that's what you were going to tell me. And she was like, I guess, like, the more the merrier, oh, right? Are you giving daddy kisses? <laughs> because um, daddy David's kisses? sister was pregnant as well. So we just had a bunch of babies on the way. And so she was super, super understanding. She didn't care. She helped me clean up my throw up. She was super, super supportive. And she was like, okay, so does Bob know? And Bob is David's dad. And they were golfing and stuff. And so I was like, no. And she was like, you should tell David to tell Bob. And so I texted David and I was like, babe, like I just told your mom, like you should tell your dad. And so what happened whenever you went and told your dad? Yeah, so I was really nervous to tell my dad. I really had no idea how I would bring it up or what I would say at all. And I, I thought about it basically the whole day we were golfing and I couldn't bring up the nerve to tell him until we were on our way home, basically last minute. Because he was going to find out either way once we got home because Zoe had already told my mom. So yeah, I basically just spit it out. I just said, Dad, I, I need to talk to you. I need to, I need to tell you something. And yeah, I'm pretty sure he just said what. And I told him that Zoe was pregnant and yeah I think he asked if we were keeping her or keeping it we didn't know if it was a boy or a girl and I said yeah we have absolutely no plans of getting rid of it and that I know that we have a lot to 
prepare for, but we want to try to raise a baby. And he was pretty supporting. He, he was uh, happy for us. But, yeah, it was definitely scary trying to talk to him about that. Yeah, it was. And then, it was really funny because David told me that he told Bob, but I didn't tell Sherry, which is David's mom. I didn't tell her just yet just because I wasn't feeling well. I didn't, I just didn't think about it. And so David and Bob got home and me and Sherry were sitting on the couch and Sherry was kind of like grinning and Bob was like, what are you grinning about? And it's like Sherry like looked at me and she was like, and I was like, no, like he knows. And then she was like, why didn't you say anything? And then he was like, I could tell that you knew because you were smiling. And then it just. Yeah. It was a lot easier than. <laughs> once I actually, once we actually started talking to them and we just spit it out, it was a lot easier. Definitely. It wasn't such a big deal once we actually finally brought up the nerve to say something. Which was hard because... Yeah, they were very supportive. It wasn't that big of a deal once we actually started talking to them. Yeah. And David's sister was pregnant at the same time, but she had moved out already. So we were like, oh gosh, like another baby. And when David's sister was younger, she actually had a baby at the house too. So that's one of the things that I was worried about. I was worried like, oh, they already like basically raised a baby at their house. They're not going to want to do it again. But they were super, super sweet about it. And they made us feel really good. And they just kind of talked to us and said that they would help with anything that we needed. And basically living in that tiny room, I mean, it wasn't tiny for him. Like they have a nice house, but me, him, and Brinley, like girls, you know us, we have to have our like space for all of our like um, accessories. I basically turned David into my, David's room into my own little <laughs> like lit up room. You remember how I had lights everywhere? <laughs> yeah, I was Were really either girly. of us working at the time? Um, you were working at the golf course, weren't you? No, I got the job because... Oh, you're right. No, actually, neither of us were working. And so we were super stressed out, but then... We both found jobs probably within that month. And then... I got hired on at a golf course just as a dishwasher. And after a few weeks, I got raised up to be a cook. And I just started working as a cook for a few months making enough money to support us and she got hired on as a waitress at a mongolian barbecue and Basically, yeah within we, we started applying all over the place and apartments just everywhere and finally we got a call back for an apartment and he called us in for an interview and we went in and we explained that we needed to move out of our house in a certain amount of months and that we were going to be having a baby and he seemed to really like us and he it went well and then he called us back a few weeks later and he told us that you know that we got the apartment and we were just we were so happy what was crazy about it was out of what did he say like 10 couples or 10 people 10 different couples or people yeah. interviewed <laughs> That same day, like, for that same apartment that was vacant, he chose us out of yeah. ten people. Like, he liked us that much. He said he just had a feeling about us. Yeah, and it was great. And we got into an apartment, and Brinley has her own room, which is where we are right now. We have our own room, and it's doing the job. And as you can see, we're doing pretty good at this whole parenting thing. Yep. Okay. This is my favorite part about being a mom. What are you doing? Let go of your mama. Is that funny? Is that funny? Let go of mama. You're hurting her, silly goober. Come here. But yeah, anyways, that's our story of how we told our family that we were pregnant and their reactions. It was, wasn't anything crazy, but... It definitely has been a crazy journey. It's not as bad as it, it seems. It seemed like the whole world to me at the time, just telling my dad. But really, I mean, it wasn't that big of a deal. Yeah. And I recommend to just talk to your parents or whoever. Just get it out. Just talk to them. Tell them 
everything and, and don't stress about it don't don't make a bigger deal out of things than you need to yeah and if you guys are 19 and pregnant i promise you it will get better it will get better i thought i was going to live in a tiny room i thought brinley was gonna have nowhere to sleep i was super stressed out but here we are now. We both have jobs. We both have a beautiful baby and a beautiful house. Yeah, everything everything came together for us. It, we knew it would, too. At the time, we weren't prepared for a child at all. But we were able to get things together pretty quick. We we got we both got jobs and we both or we both got jobs and we got into this apartment within probably a month after we found out that we were pregnant. So yeah. everything. Everything happens for a reason, and everything works out for the best. Just If we can do it, you can do it. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This was a really fun video to create. I love having my sweetie by my side. And he'll be in more videos. So go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel. And say bye, Billy.